I just finished um, David Goggins' episode, or um, I had, there was like 10 minutes left of it, but um, I just watched the episode with David Goggins on Joe Rogan, um, and because of that, I'm going to go to Venice and see how far I can run. Um, yeah, I'm just I've been being a pussy lately, so can't be a bitch no more. Um, I was <clears throat> watching this while waiting for finalizing details on um, a couple of songs, uh, Witness and <sighs> Panama. Um, so I'm speakably stoked for these songs. I always, like, what's happened now is, is the first time that all the music I've released up to this point I, I'm proud of in, in its own regard. Um, even like my shit ass old songs that are shitty, you know? I would say anything past like ballerina, I fuck with. Anything before that, meh, pretty shitty. But it's all part of the process, so I still have debated whether or not I'm gonna archive that catalog. Um, because it would just be such a like wild thing to have that music still out there. Um, but it'd be kind of cool just to see the progress. So we'll have to make that call when it comes time to make that decision. But uh, I've talked with Foster a lot about labels and like logistics around that, and you know, he he's just saying, bro, like you don't need a label. You won't be approached by a label until you don't need one, which sucks, but you know, I I, I believe him, so <clears throat> and all these labels that I've reached out to it's gonna come up there's gonna come a point where they're gonna start reaching out to me and I don't even fucking need them anymore. So, I don't even know if I want to wear a hat or not. Um, but, yeah, the, with the with Panama and Witness, this is the first time where the music is so good that now I'm no longer worrying about the songs being good anymore. I'm just worried about, I say worried, like I just have logistically had to figure out a way to make sure a shitload of people hear this music because it's that good. Um, like it's not, now my worries, will it fall on deaf ears as opposed to like, is this good or not? Like I drop a song and I ask myself, like, is this fire? And like, yeah, for me it's fire, whatever. But now it's like, these two songs are so good that it's like, now, the, now it becomes a matter of, okay, my problem is not the quality anymore. It's making sure enough people hear it, uh, which is a great problem to have. Uh, and you know, something also I really appreciate about what Goggins was talking about and Joe kind of mutually bouncing off each other is like, um, if you want to be great and you want to be that next level, whatever that looks like, and however that manifests itself, you're going to have to like put yourself in a position where you sacrifice a lot of things that people would, they get a lot of comfort out of. And I think about that about myself. Like I've talked about this with some close friends, but like what I'm doing is so not sexy. Like <laughs> it's just not sexy, you know, like living in an Airbnb with um, two other people and like, that's not sexy. Like selling your your twenty thousand dollar Honda to buy a four thousand dollar Honda, right? That's way older and shittier. <laughs> like, it's, you know, it's not sexy, but it's like, bro, I'm gonna drive that Honda into the ground, and whenever I start catching bread, like, I'm still gonna be driving that just because I can, and you know, it, I think the biggest flex is not flexing anymore in a way, you know, like, I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna have cool cars one day, and, like, all the cool shit, it's just, like, whatever, like, cool, I'll have cool shit, but I want to get to the point where it's, like, bro, I have all the paper I need, and, like, I have so much at my disposal financially, and I'm still driving this piece of shit, like, I'm gonna be the guy pulling up to the Met Gala <clears throat> in my Honda Civic, when I could buy a Lamborghini Urus cash, <laughs> like, that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait for that moment. Like, just because it's it's uh, it's loud, it's uh, provocative, and it's like, the fuck, like, 
fuck is Zodiac Track doing driving a piece of shit Honda Accord? It's like, bro, like, thankful for this car. You know, like, you know, I, and like, I just, this is kind of spitballing here, but like, it's December 7th, by the way, 2022. Um, you know, I think about all of these things that I aspire in this big ass Word document that I have on my computer. I'm just gonna like read it off because this footage is gonna be so fucking fire one day. Like, I can't wait to like play this shit. Like, I can't wait to people see this in like the documentary or whatever. I'm just gonna read it off real quick. So these are my, like, some of the goals that I have right now um, for YouTube. I'm going to be on Patrick CC. I'm going to be on his channel featured, like, The Curious Case of Zodiac Track or something along those lines. I want to be on No Jumper. I want to be, like, featured in Nelk and the Full Sin podcast. I want to be on Hot Ones. I'm going to be on the Joe Rogan Experience. Uh, I want to do the top, or the 10 essential, Zodiac Tracks, 10 Essentials with GQ. Uh, I'm going to be on a Mr. Beast video. Like, plenty of, like, the Genius Verified shit. Like, that's, like, a no-brainer. How, how to roll backwards if they're still even making videos. Like, I'd love to be on there. It'd be fun. Um, Channel 5 News, Team 10, which I don't really know a whole lot about Team 10 stuff. I just know it's, like, big exposure. Um, but I should probably do my homework. Sorry. Sorry, Paul Bros. Um, uh, Our Generation Music and then Open Door with uh, Architectural Digest. Um, <clears throat> with my, like, producers I'm going to work with. Uh, Tragic, Benny X, Murder Beats, Full Rip Squad Team, Internet Money, Metro Boom, and Goontex working on Dying, like full team with them too. Jin Singh, Metro Boom, and Molly Raw, Don Cannon, Dr. Dre, Pierre Bourne, all these people I'm going to work with at some point. Uh, I really want to make some songs with Travis Barker. I will make songs with Travis Barker, Benny Blanco, Rick Rubin, Mike Dean. Um, and then I still want to do a collaboration with Chrome Hearts uh, or Spider Worldwide. Um, and with the Sobe campaign with Pepsi, um, honestly, if Pepsi's not trying to play ball, like, fuck them. I'll, I'll go to Coke. <laughs> like, sorry. Uh, and maybe Red Bull, too. Red Bull's kind of already got its own thing, so, you know, who knows. Um, but, yeah, that's just, like, I don't know. I'm just on one right now. Also, these are the people, like, I'm going to make songs with at some point. Yeet, Zeliocha, Lana Del Rey, Sid Carlito, Billie Eilish, Maggie Rogers, Playboy Cardi, Young Lean, Blade, Chase Atlantic, Laney, Post Malone. I'm going to have a song out with all these people. Sonically, I really want my first, like, studio album to be reminiscent of um, Rodeo. <clears throat> just because, like, there's such variation in there, and, like, there's just so many sounds I had just never heard before, and I thought that was so cool. Still do. Um, but I'm going to be in Phoenix tomorrow and I'm going to go see how many miles I can run in Venice beach. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I've literally like created like talking points for whenever I'm on Joe Rogan. I'd have to sort of figure out a way if I'm going to get all that exposure. I have to really dial in my mystique and like understand how I need to execute on these on these shows um, for like the sake of remaining not very accessible. You know, like I want to still not be very accessible, just like at least in perception, like when it comes to interpersonal connection, like I'll be as accessible as I, I need to be, you know, just like with talking to other people and engaging with fans and what, whatnot. But like as far as the Internet presence goes, like it needs to I still need to have that dialed. Um, but yeah, like right now, like I need to figure out a game plan to get these songs put out to where I don't like, I don't really want to knock again next summer in Maryland. Like, fuck, I don't want to do that just cause it's like taking a break from the music is tough. Um, but if I do have to knock again, then I'll wake probably like 10 times what I made this past summer. So that'll give me a lot of startup capital um, that will basically allow me to supersede any need of an advance or anything like that. Cause like, I'll just have enough money to be like, cool, whatever the label thinks that they would have done for me. I'm just going to find people that'll do it for me. That's why I'm trying to stike a deal with a record label for like a very minimal advance because it'll Im immediately give me, fin like it'll give me leverage when it comes to a financier's point of view to where I can basically get access to a bunch of funds that I wouldn't have had access to that are tax-free. 
and then if I, you know, play ball the, the smart way with that money, it'll really do a lot for me. But um, yeah, right now it's just kind of like sitting on my sitting on my hands. Kind of feels like um, waiting for these songs to like waiting for the all the shit to get taken care of so I can drop them. But I'm gonna get really creative with the marketing. I think what I might do is like I might string together like a series of screenshots of text messages of like people that like my my boys my my, my homies basically like. <laughs> And the caption for the promo is going to be like, fuck the algorithm um, and fuck social media. These, like, I know that these songs are fire and the homies like them. My best friends like them. And that's all that matters. And then just like string a screen, like a series of montage of these screenshots of like all these people in my life that are like, this is fire. This is fire. This shit's hard as fuck. Oh my God, this shit's hard. Like, so, you know, like that's kind of my attitude right now. Like, bro, I know this shit's fire and like, I'm not going to play your game. Like, I'm not going to play your game. Algorithm, whatever the fuck, you know, like this shit's hard. And like, I'm not going to like be down on myself because I can't crack the algorithm or whatever the fuck. Like I'm going to figure out a way to supersede that, you know? Cause it's like, I think that idea is so cool. Cause it's like, I think about how relatable that is. Like just for anybody, like seeing like, all this guy's, like, his close friends, like, they know this is good fire songs, and it's like, I know that too, so, uh, you know, I just, I like that idea, it's very, like, you know, fuck you, so, I think that's cool, um, but, uh, yeah, um, all is vanity, time is the only thing I can never get back, so I'll whack now, every day and every way I'm getting better, Time is the only thing I can never get back, so I'll act now. Looking, looking forward to being in Phoenix for sure. Seeing the boys, I can't like I'm gonna play these songs for them, and it's gonna be like so rad to see their reactions because it's like this shit's fire, you know. So. Enough talk. It's time to go see how many fucking miles I can run. It's not gonna be easy. But.